Hey, Elise, you're still awake? What's the deal? Why are you still hanging out online? Oh, hey there, Bruce. Didn't think I'd hear from you this late. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? Huh? I should be the one asking you that. What's keeping you up so late? It's already 11, you know. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm still going over my presentation. As I already told you, I have to deliver a speech at my company tomorrow. And it's making me pretty anxious. I want to go through everything I'll be discussing and make sure I'm fully prepared. You know how I am. Always extra cautious when it comes to work stuff. Hmm. Okay, okay. As long as you're not chatting up with any other dudes. <laughs> Just messing with you. Anyways, as your soon-to-be hubby, I'm going to need you to prioritize self-care and get some shut-eye. Remember, our wedding is happening this weekend, and I don't want you running on fumes when the big day rolls around. My wifey needs to take care of herself instead of working herself to the bone and neglecting her health. <laughs> Seems like someone's eager to become my husband and jumped the gun. <laughs> Just teasing you. It's really sweet that you're so thoughtful. But what I'm really curious about is why you are still up at this late hour. You know, your mom would be pretty ticked off if she found out you're still wide awake when it's already 11. Oh, forget about my mom. Who cares, right? I just miss you so much. And I'm super excited about our wedding. That's why I can't resist staying up late to talk with you. You know what? I can't wait to finally be rid of my mom. She's been a constant nag for what feels like forever. Now that we're getting married, I can finally be free from her clutches. Once and for all. Oh man, you have no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment. Getting rid of your mom? Don't you think that's a little harsh? I get where you're coming from, and I know living with Janice hasn't been easy for you. But honestly, I think she just wants what's best for you. Like any mother would. Trying to protect her son. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But no matter how you spin it, she's just way too controlling and overbearing. I've had enough of living under her thumb. It's time for me to spread my wings, grow up, and be the man you deserve. And of course, it's for our future kids, too, when we eventually decide to have them. Hmm. What can I say, Bruce? I'm genuinely proud of you. It seems like you're more than ready to cut the cord and start a new chapter. You've got it spot on, Elise. I couldn't agree more. I am so ready for this change. Seriously, when I take a moment to think about it, my life has been nothing short of a nightmare living with my mom. It's like she gets some sick pleasure out of controlling every little aspect of my existence, even though I'm already 25. She's always on my case about going to bed early, brushing my teeth just right, and get this, she even irons my boxers. Can you believe it? Yeah. I understand that she cares about your well-being and cleanliness, but ironing your boxers does seem a bit excessive. I mean... That's your personal business, right? I really can't figure out what's going on in her head. It's like she just still sees me as a little kid or something. It's beyond frustrating. You have no idea. Sometimes I swear I can hear her voice even in my sleep. She's like a ghost, constantly haunting me in every aspect of my life. Well, as much as I don't approve of your mom's parenting style, I have to admit that she has been quite helpful with your day-to-day -day tasks. I mean... She assists you with cleaning the apartment, doing the laundry, cooking, and even covering most of your bills. Hey, hold up. Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of freeloader, all right? I did have a job for five years, but I realized that IT just wasn't my calling. And that's why I made a decision to change my major and head back to college for a couple more years. It's not like I enjoy depending on my mom or anything. So don't get it twisted, okay? Okay, okay. There's no need to get all defensive like that. Sometimes, when you snap at me like this, it makes me question if I'm making the right choice about marrying you. Hold on, Elise. What are you saying? You know how much I love you. And we're meant to be together. Please don't say things like that. It truly breaks my heart. I'm sorry if I came off as rude. It might seem like I'm angry with you, but I'm not. I'm actually frustrated with my mom. She just keeps pushing my buttons and getting on my nerves. <sighs> All right. I'll let it slide this time. But I hope you understand where I'm coming from, too. Anyway, it's getting late. So please go to bed. 
I'll join you once I finish reviewing my presentation. All right. Sweet dreams to you, too. And of course, don't forget to dream about me, all right? <laughs> it's not like we can control our dreams. Well then, sweet dreams, Bruce. At least so I hear you're marrying my son, huh? Is the wedding tomorrow? Oh, hello, Janice. How are you? Yes, it's true that Bruce and I are getting married tomorrow. It's a shame that you couldn't make it to our engagement party. We were really looking forward to having you there. Yeah, you know how crazy busy I am all the time. Just can't seem to catch a break, you know? Well, I really hope you can find some time to come to our wedding tomorrow. We announced it almost two months ago. So there should have been plenty of time for you to plan ahead. After all, you're Bruce's mom, an important person in his life. It would mean the world to us if you could come and celebrate this special day with us. Hmm, yeah, of course. How could I possibly miss it? Rest assured, I'll be there at your wedding. No need to worry about that. By the way, I suppose my son has already spilled the beans to you, hasn't he? About what's going to happen once you two finally become husband and wife? Well, he has shared a lot with me, especially about our future plans. So, I'm not exactly sure which specific thing you're referring to. Could you please clarify? Oh, look at you putting on such a delightful little act. Do you actually believe that by pretending to be clueless, you'll be able to have things your way? <laughs> How amusing. But don't worry, dear, because once we start living together, I'll have all the time in the world to mold you into the ideal wife. Just give me a few months and I'll transform you into the perfect daughter-in-law for me and a wife for my son. Trust me, it'll be quite the makeover. Um, hold up a sec. What exactly do you mean by living together? Are you saying I'd have to move in and share a roof with you and your Bruce? Oh, come now. Can't you see the obvious? My son hasn't even managed to graduate college yet. He's still in need of his dear old mommy to be right there, tending to his every whim and need. Sure, you're his wife and all, but let's be real here. Nobody pampers a boy like his dear mama does. So I simply can't entrust the task of taking care of my precious baby Bruce to you just yet. At least not until he's done with college. We wouldn't want him to miss out on mommy's loving coddling, now would we? Um, excuse me, but I don't mean to be impolite or anything. But Bruce is a grown man. He's perfectly capable of taking care of himself without either of us hovering over him. Actually... He's getting quite fed up with you prying into his personal affairs all the time. As his soon-to-be wife, I'll definitely lend a hand whenever I can. But there are certain things he needs to handle on his own as an adult, you know? Like managing his own wardrobe, for example. He's more than capable of that. Excuse me? Did I just hear you right? Are you seriously telling me that you won't lift a finger to assist my son with his wardrobe? And what about his boxers? You're aware of how insanely particular he is about those things, aren't you? He expects his boxers to be meticulously ironed and neatly folded. Oh, you know what? Funny you should mention that. Because he actually told me not too long ago that he doesn't want you anywhere near his boxers. So maybe it's about time you start showing a little more respect for his choices. Don't you think? Oh, seriously? What's with the load of nonsense you're spewing, Missy? Are you deliberately trying to deceive everyone? Let me tell you something. The Bruce I know, my precious son, absolutely adores it when I take care of his darn boxers. He never fails to compliment how well-pressed his clothes are, and he always looks incredibly sharp and put together when he wears the outfits I prepare for him. Not only that, he even expresses his gratitude every time I remind him to get to bed early or brush his teeth before turning out the light. That boy, my precious Bruce, He's just so endearing. I simply adore him to pieces, you know? Okay. This conversation is taking a weird turn. If you're having trouble believing what I just said, I can totally show you the text messages Bruce sent me as evidence. Just let me know if you want to see them. Oh, please, like I need some kind of proof to validate the undying devotion my son has for me. It's obvious that whenever you two have a little chat, he puts on this act of despising everything I do just to please you. But let me tell you something. Deep down, he doesn't mean a single word of that that he says to you. 
I have known Bruce my entire life, and he's the kind of guy who always puts his dear old mom first no matter what. It's just how he rolls. And nothing you say or do can change that. I'm sorry, but I have to respectfully disagree with you on that. And to be honest, the idea of moving in together with you and Bruce doesn't really sit well with me. You made a promise to me that he would move out of your house after we got married. In fact, he's been eagerly looking forward to the day he can finally have his own place. Oh, please. Keep on living in your little fantasy world, why don't you? There is absolutely no chance in hell that my son would ever leave me and my house. We're practically glued together. We're inseparable and nothing will ever tear us apart. You know what? It seems like I won't be able to reason with you at the moment. If you're really curious and want more information, I suggest you go ahead and ask Bruce directly. Right now, I'm quite busy wrapping up the final preparations for the wedding tomorrow, so I won't be able to keep texting you. Anyway, have a good day, Janice. Oh, really? So you think it's perfectly acceptable to just walk out on your dear old mother-in-law like that? You have the audacity to treat me as though I'm invisible? This is completely and utterly unacceptable. You are nothing but a disrespectful woman, Elise. Elise, are you there? Pick up the damn phone right now. Bruce, honey, are you there? When are you planning to come home? Mommy is really missing you. You know what's incredible? I'm going to whip up your absolute favorite dish today. I know my boy loves barbecue ribs, right? And not just any barbecue ribs, but the ones made with my secret recipe. Isn't that right, my dear Bruce? Hey, Mom. Just wanted to let you know that I'm still in class. I really need to concentrate and study hard for this important upcoming exam. It would be awesome if you could try not to call me too often during this time. Thanks for understanding. Oh, what's with that attitude, Bruce? You've never been like this before. Ever since you got engaged to that Elise, it's like you've transformed into a whole different person. I hardly recognize my sweet little honey bunny anymore. Ugh, Mom, seriously, how many times do I have to say it? I don't want to be treated like a child anymore. I can handle my own bedtime routine. I can iron my own boxers, or not if I feel like it. And guess what? I can cook my own meals too. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself, so please trust me on this. Oh, you're such a goofball, Bruce. How could you possibly make your own food? You can barely hold a knife properly. Plus, you know that mom's cooking is always the absolute best. Mommy knows how to whip up affordable and nutritious meals for her beloved son. Listen, Mom, I want you to know that I truly appreciate everything you do for me. Letting me stay in your house, helping out with bills, and even tidying up my room. But here's the thing. It's not fair for you to use those things as an excuse for being overbearing. Sometimes I get the feeling that you believe just because you provide certain things for me, you have the right to control every aspect of my life. And that's just not right. Oh, honey, what are you saying? Mommy only wants what's best for you. You know that. I do all of this because I genuinely care about you, and I love you with all of my heart. There's nothing in this world that can compare to a mother's love for her son, and I hope you know how much I cherish you. Well, here we go again. Why do you always have to take things to the extreme, Mom? By the way, why are you texting me? I'm sure you have more to say than just announcing that you'll be making my favorite dish tonight. Well, yeah, that was the plan. I just talked to Elise about her moving into our house after you two get married. But to my surprise, she didn't seem too thrilled about it. Are you sure you already discussed this with her? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. What the hell? Bruce! What's gotten into you? Why are you using that tone with Mom? Elise, she must have completely brainwashed you. Okay, sorry about the confusion, but let me make things clear for you. We're actually not planning on living together with you. Elise has already found an apartment for us to rent. It's a bit small, and it's located a little far from my college, but I believe we'll be able to manage just fine. So, so it's true, huh? You're really leaving the nest? You're leaving mommy behind to start a new life with that witch you've only known for a few years? Mom, her name is Elise, and it would be nice if you used it. And yes, since we're about to get married, it's only natural that we'll be living together. So, do you have a problem with that? Well, I... I mean, of course not, my little honey bunny. Whatever decision you make, Mommy will wholeheartedly support it. I'm not the selfish type, you know.
Hey, Elise, save yourself the trouble and don't bother showing up for the wedding. Guess what? I've taken the liberty of handling everything. Oh, and by the way, I've snatched your wedding dress because I've decided that I'll be taking your place as the bride at my son's special day. Isn't that just delightful? I've even instructed the makeup artist to transform me into a spitting image of you. But don't worry, it's not like I'm doing anything creepy or illegal. I just want to remind my son of my important role in his life. Ha! Huh. I bet you can't even respond right now because you're probably unconscious in the basement, snoring away like a pig after that little tap I gave you. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I followed some instructions I found on the internet. So, when you eventually wake up, you won't have any clue who hit you or who you even are. Janice? I'm really concerned. What on earth possessed you to do something like that to me? We had arranged to meet, and instead of having a normal conversation, you ambushed me out of nowhere and knocked me unconscious. It's shocking and completely uncalled for. And to make matters worse, you went ahead and tied me up and forcibly removed my wedding dress. Did you really go to my wedding in my place? I can't believe this is happening. I'm trying to understand what's going on in your head. Why would you even consider pretending to be the bride at your own son's wedding? Huh? Uh, Elise, is, is that really you? How in the world are you able to text me right now? I mean, how? It's just impossible. Thankfully, I managed to regain consciousness on my own after that brutal hit you gave me. It was rough, but I pulled through. Once I came to... I immediately called for help. And fortunately, I was rescued from the basement. What? What? So, wh where are you right now? Don't even bother showing your face at the wedding. I've already taken care of everything. I made sure to tell Bruce about how you ran off and never want to see him again. Oh, and I made sure to inform him that you've been sleeping around with every Tom, Dick, and Harry while you were dating him. Let me tell you, he was crushed when he heard that. I bet he's completely lost all interest in you by now. <laughs> well, hate to break it to you, but your delusional little fantasy just got popped like a balloon. Bruce? Yeah, he's right here next to me. And let me tell you, he's beyond furious with you. I could practically see steam coming out of his ears. That's how angry he is. You really messed up big time, Janice. What you did was downright cruel and outrageous. I have a feeling you'll be doing a lot of explaining to the police. So, good luck with that. You're gonna need it. Huh? The, the police? What in the world are you blabbering about? I'm not the only one who's running to the police here. I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was reclaim what's rightfully mine, which is my own son. And who do you think you are trying to take him away from me? I'm the one who gave birth to him. I've been taking care of him for over 25 freaking years. So don't ever try and play the victim card here. It's not going to work. So basically, you're saying that just because you gave birth to Bruce, he should be your possession for eternity? Like he's some object you can hoard all to yourself? Wow, that's a whole new level of toxic, Janice. Don't you realize how damaging that perspective is? By clinging on to him like this, you're actually ruining his life. He deserves the freedom to make his own choices and live his own life. Independent of your possessiveness. It's about time you take a step back and see the bigger picture here. No, I never said that, you witch. Quit twisting my words. Hey, is Bruce hanging out with you? Let me talk to him. He's my boy. He'll hear me out. Hey, Janice, it's Bruce. So, now that we're at this point, what do you gotta say, huh? Honestly, I should have kicked you out of my life and my wife's a long time ago. But listen up. No matter what nonsense you're about to spout, you won't be able to wiggle out of this one. Bruce, is that really you? How? Why did you just say my name like that? You never did that before. Not even once. Shouldn't you be calling me Mommy? Or at least Mom? Nah, I ain't down to have a mom who only treats her son like some object and even had the guts to attack my wife. This is it. I've had enough. I'm cutting all ties with you. We're done being mother and son. Wait, hold up. Are you actually being serious? How in the world can you be this heartless towards me? Oh, I see it crystal clear now. This is all her doing, isn't it? 
that deceitful snake. She manipulated you into spewing all of this, didn't she? I had a gut feeling about it. Right from the beginning, her ultimate motive was nothing but to tear our family apart. Cut it out. I've had it up to here with you trashing and dissing my wife. I gotta admit, I used to be a total pushover. I let you have your way, tormenting my ex-girlfriends and driving them away from me. But things are gonna change starting now. Elise, she's the love of my life, man. Even though she saw right through your controlling antics, she stuck by my side, and I'm super grateful for that. I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect her, even if it means standing up against a wicked woman like you. You, you've changed. I don't recognize you anymore, Bruce. Yeah, you know what? I've actually changed, and it's been a positive shift. And I'm not just saying it for show when I tell you that I'm cutting all ties with you. Oh, fine then. If that's how you want it. I guess you're ready to sever the money umbilical cord too, huh? Well, starting now, don't even think about counting on me for any financial support. You're on your own. Well, thanks for saying exactly what's on my mind. That's exactly what I was going to say. By the way, you might not be aware, but I've been keeping tabs on every single bill you've paid for me. No worries, though. I'll pay you back every penny. and I've even thrown in some interest if necessary. I'm sick and tired of you constantly throwing it in my face whenever you try to control my life. And of course, when you're taken to court, we'll be seeking compensation from you for assaulting my wife. So, get ready for that too. Wait, seriously? Don't act like we're complete strangers. We're family, so it's totally normal for mommy to lend you some money. And what's with the whole demanding compensation thing? I bet that wicked woman put that idea in your head, didn't she? She's so sneaky. If you keep hanging around her, your life's going to be a total disaster. If I have to deal with a crappy life just to be with Elise, then I'm ready to roll with it. I'm a grown adult, and I'll own up to my choices. So don't you worry about me. Actually, you better start worrying about yourself because the police are hot on your trail. That's it, Janice. I'm out. Bye for now. Oh my goodness, no! Please! You can't do this to me. It's completely unjust. I'm your mom, Bruce. I beg you. Reconsider your decision. You know deep down that I don't deserve this. I haven't done anything wrong. All I've ever done is shower you with my boundless motherly love. Can't you see that? Bruce, please don't do this to mommy. I'm begging you. Shortly after that, Janice was apprehended by the police as she attempted to flee the wedding. Throughout her court proceedings, she incessantly professed her love for her son and expressed her hatred towards me, blaming me for supposedly taking him away from her. It's absurd how she tried to use this as an excuse for her violent behavior. While it's true that Janice cared for her son, her love seemed to have crossed some boundaries. It's clear that she viewed me as an adversary who stole her son from her. And her jealousy reached a point where she didn't hesitate to harm me. It's honestly quite unsettling to think about. However, I find solace in the fact that Bruce is willing to stand up to his mom for me, despite the difficulty he faces after years of living under her control. Although Bruce may sometimes exhibit childish behavior as a result of the toxicity inflicted by his mom, I can see that he's actively working on himself, and it brings me immense joy. We might still be newlyweds, but there's a long road ahead of us. But with Bruce's determination to start anew, I genuinely believe that we can build a happy and fulfilling marriage together.